In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the identity plate in Lightroom 6 and CC. Now, since there's no difference between Lightroom 6 and CC as far as the identity plate, this tutorial can be used in both. Okay, let's first start by looking at the top left corner of the screen. As you can see, it says Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom CC. Of course, if you're using Lightroom 6, it'll say Adobe Lightroom 6. Okay, now you have a little triangle that drops down. This is not the option to change your identity plate. Okay. You want to right click and go down to edit identity plate and click on that. Once we do this, we will now come up with the identity plate editor dialog. Okay. Now by default, it says identity plate Lightroom. Now you have the option to change it to Lightroom mobile if you wish, and it will display your Lightroom mobile information. Okay, now I don't want that, and then most people who will change this will want to go to something more personalized. So let's click on personalized. Okay, and once that ha uh, comes up, as you notice, it has disappeared at the top. Okay, now the little radio uh, buttons is right next to use a style text identity plate. That's the first one we're going to set up here. Okay. Let's first type in something. Now, most people will put it out there, either web address, their business name, or their name, or their whatever else they wish. For the most part, I'm going to put in my web address for this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to type in www.exodistphoto for exodistphoto.com. Okay, now that looks very unappealing. Don't worry, we can customize this. Let's just highlight the text and go down to a little drop down box here and see how uh, Vecta, Vectia, or however you pronounce it, is listed. However, I want to use Senzel. So I will type in C, bring up our C list, and I'll see Senzel here listed. Now we'll click on that. Okay. Now you have the option between regular, bold, and black. Now I'm just going to go a little bold on it. And I'm going to change my font size from 12 to 36. And once that comes up, we need to have some nice customized text at the top. We can even go to a step further and change the color. I'll find something more golden that fits my theme a little bit better. And now we have our customized text at the top. Now, as you also notice here on the right side, we have the option to change the uh, module tabs as well. So we can customize these to any color we want. Now a particular one here, like the library is listed, I can go find a gold color or something of that nature for that particular one. To make it a little more appealing. Okay. That looks quite nice. However, I think I'm going to go with something more blue on this particular one. Okay. And just don't be careful and don't click OK like I did. <laughs> Okay, now this looks pretty good, and this probably suit most people. However, I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to use a graphical identity plate. Now, if you want to use a graphical identity plate, I highly recommend you create one in the Photoshop, you know, a very small one, and try it out and see how it fits. Uh, going from Lightroom 5 to Lightroom 6, it uh, the way it aligned the identity plates changed a little, so you'll probably have to rework one if you went from Lightroom 5 to 6 or CC. And notice yours doesn't line up properly anymore. Okay. Well, like I said, create one in uh, Photoshop. I'm using a PNG for my particular one. However, you can use JPEG, but you'll probably have to put the color to black. I particular, uh, I like to use PNG. That way, in case I change the, uh, the background and stuff behind it, you know, within Lightroom, that it will actually uh, change in the graphics as well. Okay, so I'm going to click on use a graphical identity plate. And you'll notice when we click on that, we now have a button come up, locate file. Let's click on locate file and see if we can't find my identity plate. Okay. Now, by default, it'll probably show up in your documents. Now, I've got mine clicked over here on blog art. This is where I keep a lot of my blog art on my particular computer. Okay. And we go down here. You can see where I have identity plate hyphen jpvc hyphen 1b now that's my identity plate for joe's photo video channel and my little uh, version i've created up modifications 
and it is a PNG, which means portable network graphics file. And I'm gonna click choose and import it. And you'll notice as soon as I have done that, we now have my graphics at the top. Now you'll notice mine's quite long. I have a 32 inch display, so I have plenty of screen real estate at the top. Although if you're working with something smaller, like a 13 or 15 inch MacBook, you may have to make yours a little bit smaller. So what I've done, I have like a, I think it's like a uh, 80 or 60 you know, pixels tall, about like you know, 1200 pixel wide file. So that's what I'm using up there. Up there, you know, like I said, you'll have to create your own in Photoshop and experiment to get the best results. But that's how to set up an identity plate. After you're done, just click OK again, and you're ready to go. And I hope everybody found this tutorial uh, informative and helpful. And if you like this video, you know, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you know, please take the time to subscribe. I make at least four videos a week. Many of them are very uh, informative tutorials like you see here. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.